Okay, I have most of what I think we're going to do for the cover laid out. Um, so I, I'm going to share the details first. So first, oh, sorry. Not sorry about that. Um, so I've got most everything laid out. Um, so I'm going to set aside the detail elements and we'll just talk about the main elements of the page. Uh, which are this ephemera card and these two stamps. And the stamps came from the 12 by 12 signature page. So those are two that I'm going to feature. There's actually three on the page, but I'm going to use, this is the third one. It's the egg, but I'm going to use the nest and the bird. And I went back and forth, but I think I want the nest first and then the bird uh, because I'm going to use this piece of chipboard and I didn't want to put it across the bird. Although now that I'm looking at it, I might rethink it. Hmm, I think I want the nest first. Okay, so it's going to go like this. So the first thing we're going to do is lay down these three pieces, and then we're going to start layering on top of it. So these are trimmed out from the 12 by 12 signature page, and then behind it, uh, there's uh, cardstock, and then I added a layer of chipboard, and I did that for all three pieces. So ephemera, and then cut aparts from the signature page. So the next thing I want to do is focus on uh, composition, and so we can either, if you want to, do that or the breeze and I think I had laid it out originally just like this I do want these um, two cut apart stamps to overlap on uh, the stripes I think it makes it a little bit more interesting I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down and you'll notice that the chipboard is not exactly the same size as the cardstock and I do that on purpose so that it's easy to tuck things behind it as I'm adding embellishments. So there's the breeze. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz ruler and just try to make sure things are relatively straight. Okay, that's good. Okay, same thing. It's not perfect, and part of that is because these cut aparts aren't perfectly rectangular. Through no fault of mine, it's just the images weren't didn't have right angles. Okay, so those two are in. Now we're gonna place this. I'm trying to decide if I want higher or lower. I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this side down. There we go. Now, I'm going to hold that in place for a second. And then I'm going to cluster my roses really quick and make a decision on... I think they're going this way, which means we're going to put a large corner here, a filigree corner. that place for a second and then we should put another one down here but since I've already glued that down I'm yeah it's still gonna work yep and that's partially because the um, chipboard is narrower than the cut apart so that's still gonna work just fine 
I don't happen to have a clip, but if I did, that's what I'd be using. So I'm gonna leave that be for a second. We'll glue this one down. Looking good. Okay, now our next large element is this ephemera card. And so one of the reasons I wanted to put the corners in is because I think that might change where we actually position this, which means we're gonna position it a little bit lower than, it, than I would have thought. Um, if I was trying to center it, it would have been off because of the well, it wouldn't have been off. It would have been centered, but it wouldn't have looked good because of the uh, filigree piece. Okay. So I want to make sure I'm not going on the same line as this. I think visually that'll not be very appealing. Make sure it's straight. It is not, so I'm going to scoot it over a little. Check again. I pushed it too far one way. Try again. Um, the chipboard's very thirsty, so if you need to maneuver it, sometimes you have to reapply the uh, glue because it dries so quickly. So all I'm trying to achieve here is a, an even line to the edge of the book. There we go. Okay. So that's in place. So now we have some fun elements to add. I'm gonna tuck this slightly behind uh, here and that's a little, it's still sticking out further than I want so I might trim it down. And then we had a couple of other cut aparts. These I want to place here. And these are just cut aparts from one of the, one of the pages. I like to bevel them because I think they stand out more and they're more interesting. So I just use my finger to roll it, twist it. Okay, I'm gonna glue those down and then we're gonna start to figure out where to put the dimensional flowers. So I like to turn out the outside edges because that's what's going to hold it down. So I'm going to put glue on these edges and then I can leave that bevel behind. that shifted. Oh, we should probably go ahead and re-glue it. Okay. 
Okay. All right, now I'm gonna start trying to figure out the placement of the roses. So I'm gonna use, um, I guess a mid-size rose. I don't think it's the largest one, but a good size on both edges and and then a medium size on both edges. And then I'm gonna incorporate some cream and what is called linen. And these are from my stash, but they're all Graphic 45 roses. But I'm not using a single pack of anything. I'm sort of working through it and using what I have. And there we go. Now I need, oh, here it is. Oh, no. I thought I had another medium sized rose. Maybe not. <clears throat> so, what I'm doing is testing, you know, which way makes the flower lay the flattest, because that's what I want, because they're already very tall. This is another cut apart. Okay, so that makes a nice little cluster. So now we need to work on this corner. I think I'm going to choose this one. Almost out of glue. Almost. Okay. Tuck that there.
Okay. Now we have a couple other cut aparts that we need to place. I think that looks good. I'm gonna bow it a little. It's a little too boring, flat, so. At least there's a little more interest, okay. And now, let's see, I think I'd like to work in, this needs to get glued down. Yeah, much better. It was too far over into this image before and I think it looks much better now. Perfect. Okay, we have these die cut doodads which I think look interesting popping out of the floral sprays. And they're actually the same color on both sides so it doesn't really matter which way you put it down. Here's one, and I think I had another one, but I don't see it at the moment. Okay, so we have this large one, but I think, oh, here it is. I knew I had another one. They're hard to see. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it down here. Nope. I don't like that. It looks too planned. I think going the opposite direction is a better call. Like that. Okay. So we've got those. That's fun. Now, I want to use in the charm pack, if you buy the collection, you get these awesome little binoculars. So I'm going to use those right up here, right next to the flower cluster. They're beautiful. They're awesome. I love charms to embellish the cover or to do charms on the edge. So what else do I have? I have left over from a previous collection, a couple of um, bird cages. This is one. It's not very large, but I think I have a bigger one left over and some keys. And again, these are all graphic 45 staples, but, um, some of them are from my stash because I rarely use an entire pack. I'm going to go ahead and add some foliage. Now you guys can see why I usually just release the finished product. <laughs> it takes a long time. It's tedious. And probably pretty boring to watch. But there you go. leaf under there it makes it pop out a little bit better and then I'm going to put another one over here just 
like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to find that birdcage that I misplaced, which is a little bit bigger and I think it will be more interesting. Um, So I'm going to pause for a moment and try to locate it. I found it. So this is the birdcage that um, I was looking for. This is the smaller one, but I was looking for the larger one. So I'm going to figure out where to put this. I really like it and I want to make sure it's part of the cover. So our binoculars are up here. We've got our two um, filigree corners on the outside. So now I'm trying to figure out where to put this. And it's so pretty. I don't want it to get too buried, but I also don't want it to be the only feature on the page. So quite the conundrum. I think it'll disappear here. So I think I'm gonna tuck it right here in the flowers. So the last thing I think I want to add to this page is a butterfly. Nope, not going to work. Maybe a flower. Yep, I'm going to add the flower right next to the birdcage. And that's going to be it for the cover. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be back shortly to do a complete walkthrough, but we are done with Birdwatcher. Or are we? <laughs> There's always something else to do. Maybe one more corner. I don't know if it's adding to it. Yeah, I don't think it's really adding anything, so I'm not gonna go with that. Clear everything off, and I'm, I'm just gonna check one more time, see if these keys make sense anywhere. It's not really a key collection, but they're still interesting in general. Nope. I don't like that. The thing is with these binoculars, they're so strong. It's hard to imagine anything next to them. So I'm going to just go with binoculars and I'm going to give them some time to dry. That's it. Okay. Uh, next time um, I visit you guys, we will be working on, um, nope, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm going to add this. We'll be working on, um, oh, not working, we'll, I'll be showing you the walkthrough. I'm going to cut the charm uh, loop off, which is really easy because I think most of these are made from lead, which is so soft. Um, and then I'm gonna lay it down on this bird right here. I think it's gonna be interesting. These are just nippers and I actually got them in the jewelry section of a craft store. So I'm gonna ink that raw edge real quick just so it's not so shiny. Because they call them brass, but they're not brass. They're too soft to be brass. <laughs> they're brass colored. Okay, so I just knocked off the silver. Try to, anyway. There we go. And I'm going to lay it down right here on top of this bird. And then we're done. I, I promise. <laughs> we're done. The longest video ever. really help. I put the glue down in the channel. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, so I also found this little hummingbird. It's so precious. So I was trying to figure out what to do with it. I might work it in, but for now I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna call it done for tonight.